It's a mysterious word filled with creativity, potential, possibility, with anxiety in amongst it. It's something that all can achieve. Mm -hmm. It just takes a bit of work in getting there. Mm -hmm. Ambition is something that is desperately needed. And it doesn't take just one person to fulfill it. So are you ambitious? I always try to go beyond what I don't know. Right. Using what I do know as my vessel. Mm -hmm. But with every canoe, the nose, the prow of that canoe, as it hits the new waters, it creates ripples as you pass and go along that particular pathway. And it's scary. Mm. I'm in the middle of something that I'm quite ambitious for. Mm -hmm. And actually it's been a while since I've had this inner fear of what I can achieve if I follow this pathway. Mm. And it's scary. But I know if I keep with it, hopefully one day uh, it helps me create it to be a reality. And if that helps other people's ambitions in their own way, um, it'll make me smile. When you say scary, what's scary about it? I suppose it's, I have that fear of achieving more than I set out to be, or more right. than I set out for, Right. and if I do actually get to that point that I really want to achieve, how will I react, what will I be, right. uh, who will I be, and what will it make me? Will it make me different to what I am today? Okay. Or will it grow me as a father, mm -hmm. uh, a man, uh, a family member of my wider family? But just knowing that I'm learning. I'm learning to understand that um, you don't need to be on the mission 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. But remember what mission you're doing. Yeah. And know that somewhere along the way you know the connectors that can help you fulfill that ambition. Yeah. But I think one of my my things is um, I have uh, an anxiety within me to ask for help. Right. And, uh, yeah, it seems to be something uh, that, that slows my journey down and halts it sometimes. Right. Because even though uh, I know the right people that can help me fulfill my ambitions, and in doing so, actions, their ambitions being fulfilled as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's like jumping in a really deep pool. Yeah. Without a life jacket. Yeah. And not seeing and opening my eyes and seeing the amount of hands that are there willing to give me a hand. Right. But afraid that if I open up my eyes to see no hands there at right. all. All the hands walking away or facing another direction. Yep. And so I continue to be the hand for someone else. Yeah. And not knowing if it's going to be reciprocal. Um, yeah, it's one of the fears I need to get over. Mm. 
So, can you describe someone you know, and it doesn't have to be someone in real life, it can be a you know public figure, who's very, very ambitious. Can you describe that person? Um, one of our nannies from up north, her name was Fina Cooper. Um, a very fragile uh, elder, mm -hmm. but in her fragility, in her physical small body she was such a giant when it came to love not only for her family but for all of the, her community mm. and what was her ambition it wasn't to create massive protest of Maori people uh, marching in protest against the government I believe her ambition was for her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren to be able to live on their land and grow their own crops and be self-sustaining for the wider family on a land that they called home. Mm. And she met along the way many other people from other areas that had that same ambition and they were able to connect and as a collective pull their hearts out to one another and take a journey mm. that others from many cultures um, had, a, had a kinship to mm. and joined with them. She didn't know it was going to create the biggest protest of that time right. for human rights. Not just Māori rights, but mm. human rights.